today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Great Value Thin and Crispy Crust Barbecue Style Chicken Pizza. This was $4.97 at Walmart. Great Value is a Walmart brand. All of their pull tabs have worked perfectly. Uh, oh, look at that big piece of That's red onion. Meat. It looks good. It says it's topped with barbecue sauce, white meat chicken, mozzarella, and paroma cheese and red <laughs> onions. That uh, paroma is parmesan and romano. Yes, we we have learned. Uh, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees, remove all packaging, and place the pizza directly on the center rack. Bake for 12 to 14 minutes or until the gut crust is golden brown and the cheese is melted. I, I love the look of this. It looks really good. I love the big chunky pieces of onion. Uh, so we're going to put this in the oven for the full 14 minutes and then we'll be back. So here is our pizza out of the oven. It looks really nice. It's clear, hot. It's, I was going to say, it's clearly very, very hot. So uh, Kevin is going to cut it for us. He cuts it into uh, six slices. We eat half each. So uh, we're going to take it over to the table and give it a try. Okay, so calories. It is 300 calories for a fourth. So this is 600 calories for half. Yeah. Uh, so, um, barbecue sauce, you can really smell the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce. That, I, think. I get a little whiff of onion I get for every once in a while. Yeah. Um, I, I really want some of that onion too. It's a sweeter sauce than I was expecting. The sauce is, um, it is sweet, but it's different than I expected because it almost tastes, um, it almost tastes like grilled. Like when you've cooked something on the grill and then you put barbecue sauce on it, like you've done pork chops. Yeah, and, and you get a little It has that it. like grilled <laughs> flavor. That's yeah. what it reminds me of. Maybe that's, did you get an onion? Because that may have been the onion because I got that kind of same flavor and I got that, but I got an onion, so. Mm -hmm. The chicken's not bad. Yeah, I was gonna ask you what you think. Because the chicken we ate with the chicken bacon ranch, is that what it mm -hmm. was? The chicken was kind of mushy. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's as bad now. It's still a little mm -hmm. soft, but it's not as soft right. as it was then. Right. Because we kind of compared it to canned chicken. <laughs> yeah, it was like canned chicken. Um, and I did not care for that, the texture of it at all. This is cooked, uh, this is baked better mm -hmm. and so, so it's bit. dried the chicken a little bit mm -hmm. which would normally sound terrible most of the time you don't want a dry chicken but it was it was like the texture of cat food or yeah. something it was just yeah. it wasn't good for a, on a pizza it's very very soft and yeah and so it wasn't appealing at all so this is since it's baked longer um or better <laughs> it's dried it out a little bit I like the onions. The onions are sweet. Um, they're not that really strong, powerful onion flavor. I like the chicken. Mm -hmm. um, the barbecue sauce is a little iffy for me. Mm -hmm. It's not great barbecue sauce. It's not bad barbecue sauce. It's just not really great either. It's kind of got a sweet, slightly smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. The crust is okay. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't have a problem. I mean, I would eat it for five bucks. I mean, exactly you know, under not. five dollars. It's right at five dollars. I like it a lot. The cheese, um, the cheese on this one doesn't really stand out for me because I think you're supposed to taste. I mean, it's called barbecue style chicken. That's the name of it. So I think you're supposed to taste mainly the barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. So the cheese is just like. An addition, you know, yeah, a secondary thing. <laughs> yeah, really. You're not getting a lot of flavor from that mm -hmm. at all. You're you're really just getting some of that onion mm -hmm. and the barbecue. And the onion's not really strong. No, it's I'm not, glad too. Yeah, um, I I love onion, but yeah, it's 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 nice. It's not too strong. So this is a good one. Um, it I probably honestly would avoid for me personally the ones with chicken. Even though I said this is fine, 
it's not my favorite because of their chicken that they use. Right. I would prefer to, um, I really liked the California Pizza Kitchen for the barbecue chicken. It was really good. I also, we had one from Trader Joe's that mm, was that a was barbecue really chicken, and I really liked that one too. Mm -hmm. So, Trader Joe's or, or California Pizza Kitchen. But, out of the Great Value Thin and Crispy, we both really enjoyed the, the three, three meat, meat yeah. or meat that, lovers, or it might have been called meat lovers, I'm not sure. It had like yeah. ground beef and... and Sausage and pepperoni. Yeah, or something like that. and it was it was probably our favorite out yeah. of all of them. Um, but I know I've gotten requests already, or I've been told uh, you need to try the rising crust. Yeah, and they then do I, have some of those. I've I've heard that about the Great Value brand, but I've also heard that about the Kroger brand. And I always appreciate the recommendations. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to just be honest with you. We're going to take a little break from reviewing pizzas <laughs> yeah. because yeah, pizza overload. What you don't, re I mean, I've enjoyed it, but what some people probably don't realize is we have literally had one of these every single night for dinner, uh, because once I start the videos coming out, I like them to come out back to back, yeah. you know, like on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I want you to get to see it until we've worked our way through all of them. And it's just me. That's just a funny thing with me because some people would wait months in between. I'm just not like that. So we're going to take a little break from reviewing the pizza. Now that's not to say you yeah, won't we'll see, back, yeah, that's not to say you won't see a pizza in the grocery hall or something because I'm still going to be eating ones that I know were a sure thing. But as far as reviewing new ones, we probably will take a break before we get into the other ones from Great Value or the ones from Kroger because I know those have been requested as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have a favorite, you can let us know. And thanks for watching.